All right, Cancers, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for December 21st to the 29th. My name is Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to this type of astrology, do check the description down below because your sign might be different. All right, Cancers, so it's Christmas week for those of you who celebrate Christmas, and uh, the full moon is going to be on Christmas Day, interestingly enough, and that's going to be in your 12th house of spirituality, of faith and trust, and connecting to God, and having that uh, present moment connection and awareness in life. So very significant. It's going to be the high point of the week, both energetically and astrologically speaking. Um, so good time to reflect on those things, which I'll talk more about. Uh, right at the beginning of the week, the sun does shift into Sagittarius, which is your sixth house. So there's this shift happening right at the beginning, leading towards uh, this uh, Friday time period of the full moon. And that's where your focus, I think, is going to be more on perhaps the routine, the health, the diet, uh, maybe the work environment, how you can have more insight there, more passion there. I think there's just a shift and a focus, I think, going towards more of the daily activities. So it's a good way of working with this week in terms of that shift. And as you can see here in the transit graph, there's a lot of supportive aspects, a lot of sex styles, which uh, you know typically mean uh, doors opening. But we have to walk through those doors, of course, to turn those opportunities into a uh, reality. Now it starts on Monday when Mercury does sextile up to Chiron. So there is some healing and rejuvenation. And I think it just, it's just going to happen very naturally. And it's going to be involving maybe the work or the daily routine. You've had Mercury here. So I think your mind has already been uh, in this you know area of your life for quite some time. Maybe there's some transformations with it from the previous weekend when Mercury went over Pluto. But now maybe the healing is taking place. Maybe there, there's that uh, rejuvenation. <clears throat> And I think you can enjoy the uh, routine stuff, uh, whether it's work or otherwise, quite well this week. It's also a good time for anything spiritual. Mercury does rule that 12th house. So meditation, rest, and relaxation could come easy. It could be healing, as well as the communications um, as well. One thing I want to say, too, about Mondays, we're coming off of this year and it's squaring up to your, uh, Mercury energy also. So keeping everything nice and grounded uh, when it comes to the routine and stuff because there was some changes and it's, I feel like maybe it has to be integrated on Monday or something in regards to that. Um, and if it is something that has to do with freedom or you can have more freedom in that routine or whatever, you know, taking it nice and slow with that square up to Uranus. So then no major aspects until we get up to Christmas Eve, which will be Thursday. Uh, Venus is going to be sextiling up to Jupiter. So here, again, more supportive energy and uh, it's been with perhaps this stuff you're learning about your values lately maybe possibilities with the financial or material stuff. And that's a nice harmonious aspect to your home and family life. Uh, so this optimism, this values, this awareness of your values, very much supporting uh, connecting to home, connecting to family uh, this week, especially because you got Venus here anyways. She's in a good placement of Libra. So I think you can be enjoying um, anything involving that domestic life anyways. Now, in terms of uh, Venus ruling your 11th house, it could be uh, quite good for friends, connecting anything on a group level. Um, and of course, she does rule that fourth anyways, too. So home and family with that. Then on uh, Friday, we do have, which is going to be Christmas, we do have that full moon. So 12th house, good time to reflect, good time to see, you know, what's really meaningful to you, have that faith and trust, that connection to God or all that is, and um, meditation presence. But if you're connecting with family or whatever, it's really that unconditional acceptance in life. And it, of course, starts primarily with self, but it's in general with everything in our external environment and everyone as well. So a high point with that, especially if over the past six months you have been working on anything you would call spiritual or behind the scenes could be a culmination of that. And it's really about balancing how you can bring in more of that spiritual awareness of the moon into this new focus and attention with the daily activities or with your work, whatever new I think you're focused on here this week. So uh, also interestingly on Christmas is that Uranus does go station direct in that ninth house of yours. So it's a good time to kind of pause and reflect in terms of your uh, philosophy, the philosophical aspects of spirituality. Um, it could also be maybe even thinking about liberating yourself, doing something new and different with uh, travel or expansion or opening your horizons in some way. So it could be a good time to kind of just think about that, reflect on it, because something's shifting here, a new direction uh, with that particular area, especially in terms of how you can have more freedom uh, in your life in general. I mean, the ninth house is like your view of life. It's your life path in many ways. Uh, also on Friday is Mercury is going to be trying up to Jupiter. So again, very good for the routine, the health, the diet, and uh, anything on that daily level that has been expanding with your values. And Mercury, of course, is your communication. So I think they're just, there's this optimism, there's this 
you know, lifting up in terms of your view of things lately and or at least this week and it can create uh, good nice synergy good nice social energy communicative energy as well now over the weekend we do have a couple aspects with the north node uh, nice ones venus is going to be sextiling up to the north node and then mercury will be trining the north node so very nice here i think over the past two two and a half years it has been a big time for you to i think focus on your communications uh, the daily activities, your routine, uh, specifically involving the correspondence of it, though, because it's been in Virgo, but it's also been in the third house, which is about learning about the practical aspects of life and interactions and maybe exchanging and things like that. So it's not always very personal with the North Node, but it is a great time to uh, socialize over the weekend. It's a great time to learn, read, write, communicate. I think all of that you'll find very supportive and very enjoyable um, with Venus uh, aspecting up to that as well. All right, Cancer, so hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Take care.